Hey guys, welcome back to The Game Replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy X HD Remaster for the Sony PlayStation 3. Here we are at Lake Makalania. You can see Clasco, you can see Owaka. And random battles, of course, are here in this little area. Fun. <laughs> and a flea. I knew that was gonna happen, man. Right in the beginning. Anyway, a couple things here. I'll bet Primer. Cool. Owaka, and here's Clasco. Hi there. Would you look at this? They always leave me behind. Oh, you want me to scratch you? There, good boy. <laughs> How'd you know what it wanted? Uh, I've always been able to tell how chocobos feel. Maybe I'd make a better chocobo breeder than chocobo knight, huh? Hey, what job do you see me doing? Oh, come on. This guy. This guy. You really think he's a chocobo knight? Think he's cut out for that? Chocobo breeder, of course. Yeah, I think so too. Hmm. You know, I might just give it a try. Should I resign my commission? Would Captain Lucille let me? Elma would probably laugh at me. Wow, I think this is the first time I've seriously thought about my life. Clasco, if you could just kind of stand aside, there's a treasure chest there. Uh, wow, I think this is the first time I've seriously thought about my life. Just kind of on this long pilgrimage, I'd like to kind of just get behind there. There's random battles, it's kind of bugging me. And and yeah, I know you're thinking about your life and you're contemplating your next uh, career move, but if you could just kind of step aside, that would be great. I think this is the first time I've seriously thought about my life. Just, just want to get that chest. Uh! Wow, I think this is the first time I've seriously thought about my life. <sighs> you can't get the chest. You can't. Trust me. Curse that ring for taking up a place like this. He'll be rich by tomorrow, all on account of this celebration thing. Hmm? What? You buying something from me? Of course. Great. I knew I could count on you, lad. You got any weapons? I mean, we just ran into you on the other side of the road, just a little behind us, but okay. Uh... Man, piercing. Hmm. Ah... Uh, I mean, there you go. Once again, nothing that really jumps out to me and says, you must buy. Perhaps Rin's out bed shop uh, inside has some better stuff. Welcome to Oaka's. What about your items, Oaka? Once again, just the same old, same old. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go inside the Rin Travel Agency and we're gonna have a good old time. You always do a little R&R &R when you go to a Rin travel agency, you know? Just kind of rest and recuperate. Ah, the whole gang's here. Good stuff. Very, uh, very cozy. Look at the, look at the layout of this place. Ah, uh, who should we talk to first? Machen? Come on, how about Machen? I've heard Lady Yuna is to wed Maester Seymour. It is great news. I'd like to congratulate her. But it is a pity. I'd hoped Lady Yuna would defeat Sin and bring the calm to Spira. Yuna's still gonna journey, even after she's married. Ah, oh, that is also great news. Her resolve is admirable. Would you like to hear about Makalania? Go ahead. Lake Makalania is frozen over all through the year. It stays frozen, even on the hottest of days. It is said that the temple's faith is the cause of this fantastic phenomenon. And that is all for today. I don't know, man. Seems a little short this time. Hopefully, I can be present at the wedding. It is not every day that one can attend such a joyous event. Hopefully, indeed. Seriously. A wedding's not supposed to make people feel this bad, huh? Come 
Come on, don't say that. <laughs> uh, I say what I want, ever since I was a kid. Oh, so you're an adult now? You know it. Anyways, how long are we supposed to stay here, you think? Hey, don't ask me. Things have sure gotten complicated since Sir Aron joined us. You think so, too? Still can't figure that guy out. Yuna's really quiet. Sitting here like this, you really get to thinking. Sitting here like this, you really get to thinking. Lulu's always deep in thought. Machen, stop pushing us around. Dude, I'm skitzing out. Can we go now? I'm tired of waiting. All right, Riku, helpful as always. Anything can happen. Make sure you're prepared, right? There is a saying, hurry up and wait. It means prepare quickly so you're ready for whatever comes next. Sounds like something an old man would say. Forgive me. Hey, just being honest. Temple not far. Why stop here? Temple not far. Why stop here? Mm -hmm. Don't forget to smile, remember? Oh, <laughs> you're right. I'll try and remember. Smiling. Right, keep at it. Everyone look at the back wall. There is like this jumbo size pair of ice skates hanging on, on the back wall on the right side there. There's actually a couple uh, on the other wall next to it, but those ones that are hanging there just look so ridiculous and fake and I don't know, like painted on and just too big. Ha, <laughs> man. I always like to look around the Albed shops because of the, uh, I don't know, they're always kind of similar but different and like kind of a cool uh, view perspective. Welcome to the Lake Makalania branch of Rin's Travel Agency, now Spiro Wide. So I'm gonna rest. Thank you for your patronage. Please use our other agencies in your travels. No one's moved an inch. So, uh, we're gonna check out the weapons here. Let's see. Uh, you know, typical stuff. Only my stuff is a little better. A little bit. So, forget this, man. I don't think so. And yeah, a lot of the HP plus 10% is in an empty slot, which you can do anything you want. I'm not sure why they have this long sword here. Kinda silly. Thank you for your patronage. Please use our other agencies in your travels. So that's it, folks. Oh yeah, one of these uh, computer things. So that's cool, in case you want to brush up on your monster knowledge, but uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, good stuff. Glasgow, Owaka, and the road before us. It's cold out here, guys. I don't suppose you wanted to dress for the occasion. Lady Yuna, we've been expecting you. We were surprised you decided to come so soon. Pleasantly surprised, of course. <laughs> Lord Seymour sends his apologies for having left without notice. It's quite all right. I have one question, if I may, sir. Milady? I want to keep journeying, even if I marry. Do you think that Maester Seymour would let me? But of course, my lady. Lord Seymour wishes nothing else, I'm sure. Goodbye. Well, we must follow Grotto tradition. I'll have to ask you to wait here a little while longer. I'll send someone to escort you. 
I... We're all with you. Do as you will. Thank you. Sorry. Hmm? That was your line. Yuna! <laughs> yes, sir! I like this, uh, we have the option to go back and, uh, not jump right into the fight. And you can do that for a couple of silly reasons. Um, of course one reason is to, oh good, cool, I'm glad that happened. There you go. One reason is to, well, do some last minute preparations for the fight. And uh, a couple other reasons are to, well, you can actually talk to a couple characters, which can be semi-comical. I'm really glad Titus ended up being confused from the attack. Yeah, he's trying to hit himself. I, I like that. That's great, Titus. At least you're trying to get out of your confusion. Man, I hate the confusion uh, moves from the enemies in this game. It's so annoying. Anyway, where was I? I was going back here to talk to these guys. Um, shouldn't you go rescue them? Uh, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm taking my time. I'm sure Yuna's fine. She gets kidnapped all the time. You need something for the big rescue, eh? I've got just a thing. So, yeah, you can do some last-minute preparations. Uh, what I can't remember is... Can we go in here? <laughs> we can! We can just go back inside the hut, which is so silly. Hi, Machen. What is all that ruckus outside? You know, I'll bed. Machina, Yuna's getting kidnapped. I'm just chilling out. Hey, man, maybe I'll just play a game of Blitzball. No, I'm not gonna do that, folks. Oh, man, I wonder how many of you are holding your breath like, What? No, let's get on with this part. Blitzball? No, no, no. I'm gonna go rescue Yuna again. I knew another random bat. Oh, of course, ambush. Please. Confuse Titus now. Go on, bat. Come on. There he oh, Okay. Hurry it up already. Ugh. No patience for these random battles. This place isn't that bad. We just got through the Makalania forest. That was kind of. It's a little obnoxious. But honestly, they definitely, totally, without a doubt, could make that little forest stretch longer. It's actually almost, it's not short, but it's next to short. And if you don't do that butterfly stuff, then yeah, it probably is short. I could just see him making that longer and more obnoxious, couldn't you? I'm glad they chose not to go that route. Anyway, Yuna's getting kidnapped, let's go check it out. Stand back. Thank you. Lady Yuna. Riku! To the Indanva, a whom we can drink! Gator disables all magic and summoning. In case, uh, you really don't have a lot of your Albed primers and you can't understand that dude who's shouting at us. But he said, what did he say? Uh, he said, don't interfere, Riku, or you will get this. And he said, your precious magic and aeons will be useless. 
in our battle, basically. So yeah, I can't cast any white magic. Uh, we gotta destroy this thing. And that's out of range for Titus, of course. Uh, let's see. I can do this. Might as well, right? So this is another boss battle. Uh, I'm saying this again, I made mention of this already once, but it's nice that in Final Fantasy X, they throw a lot of boss battles at you, I think. In a good way. Blue, cast your spells now! You know, I mean, we just had a boss battle in the woods, and here we are, just right out of the woods, like, really, just a couple minutes later, practically, a couple cutscenes later, and, uh, yeah, man, we're going at it again. So let's see, what should I do here? What should I... Well, I want to get everyone involved, so let's steal with uh, Riku. And I guess I will... Uh, I'm just going to do some regular casting here. Oh yeah, I know Bio now, but don't use Bio against the Machina, let me tell you. Yeah, you got to use your Thunder Magic. There you go, not bad. Uh-oh. Mana Beam in three turns? That does not sound healthy. <laughs> that sounds pretty bad, man. Hmm. All right. Try and get a uh, Thunder here. Some yellow, yellow action. Good stuff. Oh, oh, I caught it. Ha <laughs> ha, success. Three in a row, finally. Let's do it. And hopefully for the last time, because I want to get another overdrive for you, Waka. And uh, I've been thinking about it. I need some redemption. Oh yeah, I haven't mentioned that. It's been a, you know, a vid now. Um, I'm real. I was mad after that loss, dude. Uh, I finished that little mini tournament. I actually won. Uh, I beat the Ronso Fangs, three to two. I didn't want to record that one because it's at the end, and who cares now? I got like uh, the runner-up thing. Uh, what am I doing here? Let's do an overdrive. That's fine. So. Uh, I want another one of those little tournaments to uh, approach, and uh, I want to do it again, and hopefully uh, Waka's, you know, little overdrive attack real thing will be there again, and I want redemption, I want to I wanna do it, I want to win, and I want to record it sooner rather than later, or I suppose sooner in the Blitzball, sooner in Blitzballing, you know, basically my next, uh, my next attempt. I'm not going to do a lot. I don't want to level up. I don't want to learn any moves. So I want to keep things fresh. You know, I don't want I don't want too much to change, basically, is what I'm saying. So let's see. By now, I've gotten everyone involved but Yuna, I think. I don't think slow will work against this thing. Let's see. No, it does. That's good. That's good. Now, I guess I'll get Yuna in here and we'll do some summoning. And I believe we have yet to summon Ixion in a recorded battle. we go. Yeah, this is an appropriate thing to summon, I suppose. Try a little arrow spark. Ixion, do you know uh, Thundara? I don't know if you do. But I should probably use the overdrive before uh, this guy goes down. Thought I had another turn. It's a good thing I did, too. I can't recall how strong this thing's mana beam will be, but he could just totally kill Ixion straight off, man. This battle is definitely, I don't know, crazier than the last one. Yeah, like, that was pretty... That was intense. That was a pretty, uh, pretty crazy attack there. Hey, power strike. Here's the mana beam, folks. Oh, and Ixion's a little damaged. This could be bad. Oh, he survives. Oh man, look at that. This thing's about to be dead. Yeah, so in a way, this battle's a little more tough, I guess, because this thing's HP is uh, a little more higher than 
the last couple boss battles, but really if you got a bunch of Yuna's Aeons charged up and ready to go overdrive wise and everyone else's overdrives and this and that, like, it's really not hard, man. Aistra guardian of Yuna, Wika? Yuna kva? Fafem kintran? Krak kva? Tu dragie moha kegan. I told him I was a guardian. Well, I guess I had to, really. How come you speak out bad? Why? Uh, well, uh... Because... I'm Albed, and that was my brother. You knew? Mm. Hmm. Why didn't you tell me? We knew you'd be upset. This is great. I can't believe I've been traveling with an Albed, a heathen. You're wrong. We have nothing against Yevon. But you Albed used the forbidden machina. You know what that means? Sin was born because people use machina. You got proof? Show me proof! It's in Yevon's teaching. Well, not that you know. That's not good enough. Yevon says this, Yevon says that. Can't you think for yourself? Well, then you tell me. Where did Sin come from, huh? I... I don't know. <laughs> you badmouth Yevon, and that's all you can come up with. Doesn't mean you should do whatever they say without thinking. Nothing will ever change that way. Nothing has to change. You want Sin to keep coming back? There might be a way to stop it, you know. Sin will be gone once we atone for our past mistakes. When? How? If we keep faith in Yevon's teachings, it will be gone one day. Why do I even bother? Riku. Hmm? Will this move? Yes! We're not using that, are we? Wait, Sir Aron is an Albed too, is he? Come on, Waka. What? I mean, getting angry just because you found out Riku's an Albed. You guys got along fine till now, didn't you? That's different. I mean... Well, I don't claim to know that much about Spira. And I probably know even less about the Albed, but... I know Riku's a good person. She's just Riku. No. Just think of this as an opportunity to learn more about the Albed. Ha! Let him go. Give him time to think. I'm sorry. You've done nothing to apologize for. All right, let's ride! You sure you know how to drive this? Better than Kamari does. I hope that you're not too mad at Waka. Hey, not at all. <sighs> Thank you. Say, what do you think of Riku? Me? She's... fun to be with. <laughs> that all? <sighs> well, I can tell she's not a bad person. Yeah. You know what the problem is? She's just another Albed to Waka. Waka's head is as hard as a rock. I bet it's because of Yevon, or you know, something like that. Well, there's more to it than that. Hmm? Waka doesn't like the Albed because of his brother Chaku. 
Oh, he used a Machina weapon, right? And got killed by Sin. Killed by my old man. Damn, you checked. What? No, nothing. Hey, can someone like a human become Sin ever? I can't say that I know. But why? Just a thought. Mm. Sin is the punishment for, and the incarnation of crimes we have committed. Mm. So no one really knows what it is. There's no need to know, so no one asks. You run or you fight. That is really all you can do. There's no sense brooding over it. What, that's all? I mean, you don't even wonder? <laughs> you really do come from a world where there is no sin, like you say. I don't know, I think there's a need to know, Lulu. I think there's a big need to know. Okay, so here we are. This is pretty much the entrance to the temple. A little bit. Uh, making our way. There's a chest here. We're gonna go down this path. I think there's gonna be some random battles. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of a need to know, Lulu. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder. If you lived in Spira, what kind of a person would you be? And uh, you might really kind of answer that question without really being able to, I don't know, be honest about it. Hold on, there's an bed here. Lost my gang. Here you go. It's cold, ain't it? Yeah, you can start, you know, piecing things together from the Albed language, like in the last couple cutscenes. This is Lena. She's a free agent. Hey, let's sign her. 900 gil, why did I do that? That's a waste. Oh, whatever. Yeah, it's pretty cold. Anyway, this is like the path that leads over to the temple. Good stuff. Just gonna swing around here. It's not too, not too far, not too bad. Anyway, Waka has finally learned that Riku is in our bed. I'm actually gonna go into the sphere grid. And, uh, as expected, he's grumpy, but, oh yeah, like I was saying, uh, what faction, what kind of person do you think you'd be if you lived in Spira? And it's probably kind of an impossible question to really answer, you know? Uh, because no one would say, oh, I would be a follower of Yevon. Yeah. No, no, no one would, no one would leave a comment, I feel, on this video and say that because, I don't know. Obviously, uh, you know. For certain reasons, I feel at least. I feel a lot of people would say uh, Albed because, I don't know, there might be some appeal to that. I don't know, who else? I mean, yeah, I guess you could be a Guado or you could be a, uh, uh, I don't know, in anything. You could be uh, one of those, you could be one of those uh, blue high pillow dudes. Yeah. <laughs> what else? You could be that guy in the... The forest with the harp, that bird guy? What are those things called again? What are those things called again? I can't recall. Ah. Yeah, would you be a blitzer? Would you be a summoner? Would you be a guardian? Would you be a... Uh, I don't know. Would you be in anything in this world? Let's see, what else am I doing here? I'm lost in thought. So that, uh... That's good. And we're approaching the Makalania Temple. Yeah, I don't really need to talk much about anything else. We saw the cutscenes, everything happened, you know, like Waka found out Riku's in our bed, there's a little friction there, a little tension now, and that's it. And Yuna went off with Trommel Guado. But we're gonna check out the temple ourselves. Halt! The likes of her are not welcome in this hallowed place. She is a guardian. A an all bed? A guardian? Preposterous. I've decided to be Yuna's guardian now. And that's all I want. And that's all one needs to be a guardian. Very well.
Oh, Waka. Oh, <laughs> come on now. I will hold you personally responsible if anything happens. Calm down, Bray. Calm it down, man. Anyway, here we are right outside the Makalania Temple, and obviously we're gonna go inside on the next part. You think there's gonna be a Cloister of Trials? Yeah, probably. Good stuff. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna call it a wrap right here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, let me in those comments. And tell me what you think. I'm David the Usher for The Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. I will see you guys next time. I am out.